Most people in America are quite familiar with what the laws are and are not with regard to public internet, free Wi-Fi, and even a closed Wi-Fi network. The reality is that there are people who own Wi-Fi and they lie about who they are. There are also people who come in from other communities and other nations who like to pretend to be a particular store on their own phone or computer Wi-Fi net. In other words, they'll commandeer a nationally brand company and label their company on their phone that company. You have to be very careful with the sign-off pages that are now being placed online today by companies that are trying to police people and monitor them on their c company time. The liars use security companies like E.P. Morgan, I think is the name of the place, that often abuse people's rights. My Twitter accounts were destroyed with the help of company employees of the Staples shop and therefore they are actually violating federal law with false advertising on their free Wi-Fi network. A free fi Wi-Fi network is available to consumers in a store and that is absolutely truthful. I have been a consumer of Staples my entire adult professional life. I plan to continue to do so, not every single day of my life, but at no place in the fine print on these uh, papers does it say that you have to be a purchaser today in the store. That would be a very foolish thing for companies to play because for the whopping dollar that it may cost them to help someone to do something, to help someone to upload someone, upload something, they're making billions of dollars across the year. So let's talk about the cost of marketing advertising. So I've actually technologically and technically complained when I got to a Wi-Fi network that would actually work correctly and Staples used to work correctly until their internal people closed it down. But marvelously, I went to a free Wi-Fi network of a store where I bought a chain from my upcoming nuptials that was 16 inches long. And I bought it because some black person stole my other chain that I once had. And many of my chains that I own have been stolen out of my pockets and out of my possessions, which we all know is a violation of federal law. But the point is that people do not have the right to impede your use of telephone anywhere at all. They don't have the right to say that you can't use a Wi-Fi network to make a telephone call, and they also don't have the right to listen to that telephone call because that would be a violation of the law. They'd be considered eavesdropping, and openly they're not a snoop, they're not a spy, they're not in spy games, they're not FBI, they're not CIA at all, and a private citizen doesn't have the right to do things. It's not true. We all have the right to do things, and that is true. In America, we have rights. I have the right to create an audio channel, a video channel, or a photo channel, a gift channel, a TIFF program, anything at all I like to because I have the creative arts and design to do so. You, on the other hand, do not have the right to steal any of my artwork, any of my copywritten work, any of the images I purchased and put licensing on to my company. You don't have the right to pretend to be me. You don't have the right to pretend to commit identity theft as me. You don't have the right to take my photography. You don't have the right to take my imagery. You don't have the right to design it. You don't have the right to redesign it. You don't have the right to utilize it. You don't have the right to abuse it. You don't have the right to hack it. You don't have the right to delete it. And how many of you don't get that? You see, every monster in America knows what the rules are, but they still want to avoid and abate the law.